Hello, have a good day. You are warmly welcome to IETV International Education TV. Now you are watching the program Knowledge. So today I'm going to tell you on leap year. So it is very useful to know what leap year is. So at the end of this program, you will be able to know what the leap year is and how we can identify a leap year. So if you are learning something, don't forget to subscribe me, IETV International Education TV. So let's quickly move to the video. First, we look what's the reason for having a leap year. It is better to identify this diagram before move to the content. So let's uh, assume that this is the sun and this is our earth. You know that uh, earth goes around the sun and uh, it takes almost 365 days to complete a journey and also this route has a shape of ellipse as i said earlier earth takes around 365 days to go around the sun it is considered as a year so normally we are having 365 days per year you know that one and and also what's the difference between a normal year and leap year is leap year is having 365 days one day is more than a normal year so what is the reason for that one you know actually earth takes 365 days 5 hours 48 minutes and 46 seconds to go around the sun it is more than a year but normally we consider that time is about 365 days in that case we have neglected 5 hours 48 minutes and 46 seconds per year that means almost quarter of a day we have neglected quarter of a day means 6 hours because we have 24 hours per day so 6 hours means quarter of a day that means for a year we neglect quarter of a day for two years we neglect half of a day for three years we neglect almost three quarter of a day and for four years we neglect almost one day so therefore to avoid that negligence what we do is we add a one day for the month of february once per year so if we add one day for the month of february once a four year that negligence can be avoided to certain extent we cannot avoid that totally but we can avoid that negligence to certain extent if you want to check whether a year is a leap year or not what you have to do is you have to check the calendar and count the total number of dates of month of february if there are 28 number of days for the february month it's a normal year but if there are 29 days for the month of february in a year that year is called as a leap year that is the normal way how we can identify a given year leap year or not so let's quickly move to find out if a given year is divisible by four it is a leap year or not so actually i told you that we add one day that means 24 hours once a four year to avoid that so-called negligence but the actual time that should be added once a four year is 23 hours 15 minutes and four seconds that means we have added additional 44 minutes and 56 seconds once a four year therefore in that case we have to reduce that additional time so let's see what can we do accordingly we add additional three days for 400 years if we are adding one day that means 24 hours per four years to avoid that earlier said negligence we add additional three days for 400 years that means we have to reduce that additional three days so three days should be removed once a 400 year according to the above you should be able to 
understand that if a given year is divisible by 4 it is always not correct to be considered as a leap year as an example we consider year 1 to year 100 let's consider we are in year 1 what we should do is to avoid about say negligence we have to add an additional day once a 4 year and remove 3 days once a 400 years those two factors should be considered when we are going to identify a leap year so if we are in year one it is not a leap year what we do is after four years we add a day that means year one two three we don't add a day but for the year four we add one day for the month of february amount in the total number of days as 366 days and as this it is considered as a leap year accordingly in year 5 year 6 year 7 we don't add an additional day and those years are not considered as leap year but for year 8 we have to add an additional day accordingly year 9 10 11 we don't add an additional day but year 12 we have to add an additional day to avoid that above said negligences likewise we have to continue until 400 years but we did not consider additional three days in that calculation therefore we have to remove that additional three days so what we do is from 1 to 96 we continue same way and in the year 100 we don't add even though we have to add an additional day for the year 100 we don't add we consider that year 100 as a normal year likewise we don't add an additional day for year 200 it is also considered as a normal year and also year 300 as well we don't add an additional day it is also considered as a normal year therefore we neglect three days one day for year 100 another day for year 200 another day for year 300 likewise first 300 years we don't add an additional day those three years 100 200 and 300 are not considered as leap years they are normal years having 365 days but in year 400 we add an additional day year 400 is a leap year therefore from 1 to 400 we add an additional day for the month of february once a four year and we have removed three days from first 300 years 100 200 and 300 years so we correct that earlier considered negligences therefore you now you can identify it is not the best way to identify a given year as a leap year if it is divisible by four therefore i have told you the correct way of identifying a leap year so let's quickly move to do a example by doing this example you will be able to identify a leap year correctly how to find a leap year correctly let's think that you have been given a year and and you have been asked to check whether a given year is a leap year or not what you have to do is you have to check whether the year is multiple of 100 or not if the given year is not a multiple of 100 that means 100 200 300 400 2000 100 2000 200 1900 likewise then what you have to do is you have to check whether it is divisible by 4 or not if it is divisible by 4 and it is not multiple of 100 it is actually a leap year and also if it is not multiple of 100 and it cannot be divided by 4 it is not a leap year let's consider this example year 1996 you know that it is not multiple of 100 if it is multiple of 100 it should be in the order of 1900 2000 likewise then it is not multiple of hundreds you checked it then at the same time you have to check whether it is divisible by 4 or not 1996 is divisible by 4 therefore it is not multiple of 100 
and it is divisible by 4 therefore that 1996 is a leap year and also let's consider 1997 it is not multiple of 100 but it cannot be divided by 4 that means 1997 is not a leap year if the year is multiple of 100 and it is divisible by 400 not 4 by 400 at this time you have to check whether the given year is divisible by 400 or not you have to keep remember not 4 but 400 let's consider this example year 2000 year 2000 is multiple of 100 and it is divisible by 400 both requirements are okay therefore year 200 is a leap year and you have to consider year 1700 i want to tell at the beginning of this example year 1700 is divisible by 4 but keep remember it is not a leap year that means it is multiple of 100 it is correct if it is multiple of 100 at the same time it should be able to divide it by 400 but year 1700 cannot be divided by 400 therefore it is not a leap year as a summary if you are given a year what you have to do is you have to check whether it is multiple of 100 or not then if it is not a multiple of 100 you have to check whether it is divisible by 4 or not if it is divisible by 4 it is a leap year if it is not divisible by 4 it is not a leap year then the second stage if the year is multiple of 100 what we have to do is we have to check whether it is divisible by 400 if it is multiple of 100 and it is divisible by 400 definitely it is a leap year but if it is multiple of 100 and it is not divisible by 400 it is not a leap year so at the lecture in the early example i told you that from year 0 to year 400 in that case year 4 is not a multiple of 100 but it is divisible by 4 therefore it is a leap year year 8 is also same year 96 is also same year 196 is also same year 296 also same year 396 also same but year 100 200 and 300 it is multiple of 100 but it cannot be divided by 400 therefore those three years year 100 year 200 year 300 not a leap year but year 400 it is multiple of 100 and also at the same time it is divisible by 400 therefore it is a leap year so i think you have got a clear idea of a leap year if you have learned something don't forget to subscribe me ietv international education tv